What's up everybody? Welcome back to Alan's Beer and Sports Review. Today, or I should say this evening, I'll be reviewing Great Divide Brewing Company Yeti Imperial Stout. It's 12 ounces, 355 milliliters, bottled November 2nd, 2017, and it's got a 9.5% ABV. I'm finding that I'm starting, that, that I've really... Stouts are what I seek out first, to be honest with you. When I take and go to do these, I look for stouts first. I just, I like the flavor, the complexity, and everything else about these. More so than even the IPAs and Pale Ales and things of that nature. Easy there, Skeeter. Don't be going over now. My goodness. Nice foamy head on this. Oh my goodness. Smell dark fruits in this nicely. My goodness. It smells lovely. Bit of like a, a, a baker's chocolate on it almost is the the smell I'm getting off of it as well. It's like a like I said, like a baker's chocolate like that semi-sweet without the sweetness type chocolate um, Yeti Imperial Stout is an onslaught of the senses it starts with big roasty malt flavor it gives way to rich caramel and toffee notes Yeti gets this bold hop character from an enormous quantity of American hops weighs in at a hefty 75 IBUs Hmm. Normally you see like 30 and 40 IBUs. Suggested food pairings. Grilled steak and leeks. Rosemary. Potatoes al gratin. Roquefort blue cheese. And creme brulee. Hmm. Finish that off. There we go. As you can see, completely, completely black. I mean, there's no, there's no opacity to this at all. No opaqueness. You're not, you're not seeing through this. You're looking straight at black. That's just the way this is. Nice tan mocha head on it. It's just it smells delightful. My goodness. I see the reason why it's got 75 IBUs, but it's on the back end of it, sitting on the tongue. It's very nice, very rich, <clears throat> very bold. You can taste the, the notes of the chocolate, notes of like the fig. Oh my goodness, this is just. You see this in the store? Grab you some of this shit. This is good. My goodness. It's got a little bit of a stickiness on the tongue. It doesn't... In front of the tongue, it doesn't linger that long. It might take you a swallow or two. 
It will linger on, linger on the back end of the tongue a little bit. The stickiness will. However, the flavor is just it's magnificent. I mean, this is... <clears throat> when I first started doing this, it was because I had to, when I first started this channel, it was because I decided to take and get away from just trying Yingling, Blue Moon, you know, 90 minute IPA, uh, 90 minute IPA from uh, Dogfish Head, as well as Fat Tire. Those, those are the beers. That's as far outside of like Bud Light that I would go. Which Blue Moon was my preferred, and I, I just. I say Bud Light, that's that's what I'll take and go back to because the majority of people where I live, that's what they drink. Although, once you get about 10 minutes outside of where I live, craft beer is really, a lot of people are they're really trying different things. There's a lot of different breweries here in the Charleston, South Carolina area. I live about 45 minutes outside of Charleston in a little podunk place. I mean, literally, everybody here is nice, but it's out the sticks. Everybody's drink of choice is Bud Light, it seems to be. Um, unless it's Budweiser. Still in the same wheelhouse. Uh, just a little, little bit more flavor to it. Um, <clears throat> when I first started doing this channel, was to take and get outside of Blue Moon, Yingling, and you know, Fat Tire was as far off as off the grid as I had gone. Uh, you know, Lining Kugel, I you know tried that. Um, 90 minute IPA, that was as far off like. The, the lager type stuff that I had done and now that I've gotten into now that I've been doing this channel and Facebook page here for a little bit I've, I've I'm really I've gotten to the point now that the first thing I look for when I go into a grocery store or to like Bill's liquor store which has has a dedicated section to beer um, we've got a beer shop or beer palace in Monk's Corner 10 minutes up the road from me but it doesn't have the craft beer selection that this place does um, it's got by states like Texas and Massachusetts and Delaware and Maine and things you know California places outside of South Carolina and it also has the local brewery stuff well I'm noticing that the more I go in there and the more that I take and go into like the grocery stores with the build your own six pack and things of that nature, the first thing I look for before I look for anything else is a stout. I just I love the robust flavor that ninety percent of them have on uh, have in them. They're a lot more complex. There's a lot more it is it, it, it in my opinion it, it the, the body and the the way it sits on the tongue and the way and the alcohol content on them, a lot of them are seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven percent alcohol by volume. One of them. That's all I need to drink. Um, now I say that my go-to beer has been started to be Westbrook. I'll take and buy a six pack of that in a week, and then take and add whatever else on top of it for the channel or the uh, YouTube or, or the Facebook page that I'm going to take and do for the week. This. This is awesome. This right here is awesome, and this is another example of why I've started to take and actually gravitate more towards the stouts and porters, but especially the stouts. Um, it's just the flavor profile on it. I mean, like I said, you get you get the fig, the, the dark fruit. You get some chocolate. I'm not really tasting a toffee taste uh, so much. Um, it's it, it's more of a it's almost like a burnt toffee type deal it's there in the background it's subtle but it's so good and you got the bitterness from the hops on the back end and it just it marries itself so well it really does scale of one to ten i give this a eight and a eight point seven five easy it's just really good um if this were beer advocate it'd be like a 4.25 out of out of five or you know four and a quarter bottle caps on untapped out of five or whatever you want to take and go with the rating of zero to a hundred it'd be like an 87 88 I mean, it's just really really good in my opinion um i enjoy this um 
So yeah, 8.75 out of 10. It's just, you see this, Great Divide Brewing, Yeti Imperial Stout. Go buy some. I mean, you, it's well worth the purchase. It really is. Um, now, I was counting earlier. I was going back through and looking at videos that, I'd done, that I've done on the channel. And sitting at, I was sitting at 45. This video makes 46. So, four more videos after, uh, after this. And I'll be at 50 total videos for the channel. And so, I've got something up my sleeve a little bit special as far as taste-wise. Or as far as drinking-wise. And I'm going to do for that. That being said, give me a like and subscribe on YouTube, like and share on Facebook. Peace out.